What can I say? I'm awesome. Like that. Here we go. So, the end of the year is coming fast, like really fast. Pretty sure I'm going to be late for my usual year end countdown. But hey, I'm getting back in the swing of things, and this has kind of become a staple. A staple I wish people really liked more, I mean I put a lot of effort into these ones. But even before working on the list, something kept nagging at me. A certain omission from the previous entry. Yeah, I didn't make one for 2017 because things happened, and I totally lost motivation, and I just let it slide, and look, it's a whole thing. But now that I'm Genko to do this again, yeah, that omission is really getting on me. I should do something about that. So you know what, this service is convenient, I like using it, might as well introduce it to everyone else. This video is not sponsored by Stardust. Stardust is an online video community where you can leave reactions to your favorite movies and television shows. You only have 30 seconds, and you'd be surprised what that limit would force out of you creatively. In just 30 seconds, only the best parts stand out. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put up my Stardust reactions for the 2017 entries. I had a whole recording done and everything last year, but I just don't have the energy to work on that, especially with the next one coming, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. That being said, here we go. Number 7 is Inuyashiki. Not many anime with almost geriatric main characters, but this was a good one. It gave a very interesting twist in the whole power fantasy, showing that having powers could make you go either way. Though it is concerning that they show young people to be mostly sociopaths, while the older ones are the ones who get to be altruistic. But it was still a really interesting show. The CGI gets spotty a bit, but I love the animation. The action was great. It was a very interesting story, and you kind of root for both sides to see how things will end up. Number 6 is the second season of Konosuba. This was a breakout hit from me the previous layer and I'm just glad we get to spend more time with these level bunch of idiots. They have their usual streak of bad luck, even though they were given one or two few breaks this season, it still goes as you'd expect and it's hilarious to see through. And we have an expanded cast of characters so it gets a lot more hilarity, it, just, it was just a blast sitting down with these guys and I really hope we get more. Number 5 we have Fate Apocrypha, even though this will infamously be the first Dirty Mode that led to the downfall of my channel, I really enjoyed the show. It gave a very interesting twist on the whole uh, grid war that made it feel more like a war, like two sides fighting with massive armies. A lot of people aren't really on top with this show, but I will have to admit to myself, I mostly got enjoyment because of the interactions I had with the community when it came to this. It was a lot of fun for me, I loved the characters, it was great for me. Number 4 is Recreators, which after watching so much Isekai, it's great for the fantasy characters to visit the real world for a change. It had great animation, the action was superb, the music was of course, it's a sour no drop as usual. But what I love most about it was what they do with the narrative, kind of showing the relationship between work, the creator, and the people that consume it. How each influences each other and puts it into the narrative. It was great, really mind blowing stuff. Loved it. Recommend it for everyone. Time to take out the trash! It's even an example of how the synopsis is a way better concept than what was actually executed. This show was it. I mean, it just had seemed to have a lot of promise, but at the end, it didn't deliver any of it. The characters were really bland, the authority figures were made to look as important as possible just to make that one guy look really cool, look how cool he is, and at the end it seems like nothing was achieved. I kind of feel like I wasted my time with this one, so... <clears throat> this was just not a good show. I've been trying to look at it from other concepts, like maybe the art style and the music was good, but it just wasn't on any level. That game is evolving children. It's not the first time that it's been done. It's been done way better. This was just bad. Nobody was acting rationally at any point, so casually throwing out murder and rape as options. The one girl got immolated with flames and she couldn't even say ow. Just <sighs> I really hate when shows go out of the way just to confuse you. I enjoy a good mystery, I enjoy being led on, but nothing in this era made any sense, not even at a basic concept. I was constantly just confused, not knowing what was going on, characters keep popping in and out, not really even show which side is which. It may not really look like it's even, but not really, like, I j maybe it's just something lost in translation for me, I just, didn't, I just didn't get this one. I excuse this by just saying, it's probably not meant for me. I'm not the you know target audience for this show, but honestly, who is? It seemed to be towards kids, but they had some concepts that seemed a bit too adult for them. And though I just found everything just not meshing with me, I can't get behind putting children in danger, adults doing nothing. Maybe it gets better. I mean, it's one of those long-running kind of shows. But you know, any show can be better after three episodes, most likely. But still, not bad, not good. From what I understand, it this was trying to get on the trash train. 
that a lot of shows seem to have launched. I just couldn't stand it after the first episode. I'll be honest with myself though, after watching the first episode, I just thought to myself, yeah, there are better stuff I can be watching. Let's not waste time on this one. And honestly, I'm glad I did that. I don't remember what I picked after dropping this, but I'm just saying, I'm glad I did. Did it get better? Maybe? I don't know. Don't care. Dropped. No. Number 3 is the second season of Boku no Hero Academia. The first season I found was just okay, it never really had anything that hooked me. It was this second season that really solidified itself as a great show for me. It really didn't help that it had a great opening with that tournament arc and the fight was so emotionally fueled more about uh, ideals than anything else. Like I said, this is what really got me into the show and behind the characters and everything, so I'm Yes, I love it. The second season, love it. Number two is the second season of Shingeki no Kyojin. I'm just glad it was back after four years. Sincerely hope we don't have another dry spell like that. And I love how it went towards the mystery genre, with the titans just suddenly appearing behind the walls. No idea how they got there, but there's a lot of implications towards it. And still though, that reveal tripped me, figuratively and literally, and still gave a lot of great action with the 3D gear, lovely animation, the horror element, it was a great return, loved it. And at number one, anime of the year of 2017 for me, and most people, let's be honest, made in an abyss. That show just took me by surprise and like I said, a lot of people. The cutesy art style was mischievously deceiving because it didn't make me prepared for what was happening. It was much darker than it looked like, and that one episode made me cross my legs really hard. And the villain that was really that was real at the end, oh my god, waiting for the second season like heart. Once again, I would just like to say this video is not sponsored by Stardust. Really wish it was, but it wasn't. You guys should join it. I mean, yeah, YouTube video responses haven't been a thing for so long, and I'd really love to see what you guys come up with. So join in, leave your reactions, and tag me. Now to work on 2018. Like I said, this will probably be lit. Sorry.